Hey guys, one of you suggested me to compare Affinity Photo to Pixelmator Pro. So I spent last three weeks using Pixelmator instead of Affinity Photo and today we're going to look into some things that Affinity do better, maybe Pixelmator do some other stuff better and maybe both are good enough in certain areas. So let's take a look. We cannot ignore the fact that Affinity Photo is part of the Affinity family. So the files are compatible with Designer. You can actually open your photo files in Designer and then keep going with vector tools. You can also use Affinity Publisher to link directly to your tools. So you can use Affinity Photo tools inside the publisher. So that's great. So let's not ignore the fact that Affinity Photo is kind of winning on this aspect. It's just one program from the Affinity family that was recently also purchased by Canva, so we can kind of expect this family only to grow. Both programs can open PSD files. So PSD stands for Photoshop document. It's a native format for Adobe Photoshop. And many people that switch to new software, they still got the old files and to kind of open up for some old customers for themselves. And both programs can do that, but it's not perfect. All right. So this, like in the update two for Pixelmedia, they changed the whole engine. And in recent update, they also fix uh, like vector masking and stuff like that. So it's always evolving, always improving, but it's not perfect. Some effects maybe not supported, smart objects are not supported and stuff like that. So don't expect to be able to them open them like perfectly as in Photoshop, but you can still open them. There may be some filters or effects missing, but you can kind of get access to those files in both programs. Let's talk about vector tools because in the past, in the past, I will point towards Affinity Photo because the vector tools are great there, but now everything is also in Pixelmator. That was a welcome surprise for me because I was kind of expecting this is the program only for enhancing pictures, but it's turned out you can actually do some a simple vector art the brushes, the vector shapes, pen tool, and everything's there. So here I would say both programs are good enough to do some simple vector editing as well. How about the price? So Pixelmator Pro is a bit cheaper. It's $49.99 versus Affinity Photo right now is $69.99. It's still great. It's literally cheaper than a modern PlayStation game. So it's 50 bucks for Pixelmator and 20 more for Affinity Photo, but they are often on sale. So you can like grab them like 50% off during like Black Friday and stuff like that. And for both, you purchase the software once and you keep using it. No monthly payments. If you plan to do like very complex embedded document style designs, not more like into graphic design than like photo editing, I guess. Affinity Photo is better for that because you can put one Affinity Photo file into another. But a Pixelmator Pro introduced something they call mockup layers when you can do something like picture in picture. It's kind of embedded image. So they kind of address that to some level. So it's kind of good enough for some people, but it's not really like the real smart object just yet. How about the platforms? Here, the clear winner is Affinity Photo available for Windows. Mac OS and also a native app for an iPad with pretty good like gestures and shortcuts. Unfortunately, Pixelmator Pro is only available for Mac OS right now. So we are limited only to Mac users and that's it. So if you're not a Mac user, this is a simple choice for you here. Affinity Photo, that's the one. How about raw editing? Seems like Raw editing is a bit better in Pixelmator Pro. They are compatible with more different cameras and the interface is focused very much on uh, tonal adjustments, color adjustments. So people kind of report that it's a bit better process in Pixelmator Pro. I'm not a big photographer myself. I usually use this kind of software more for like graphic enhancements, graphic design, but it seems like it's a bit better in Pixelmator. And let's talk about AI tools. I'm talking about AI enhanced tools, not about AI generated content, because some people kind of confuse those two. 
and get angry. AI tools are simply tools that are enhanced by machine learning, something that had been happening years, years before it was even like a thing in the like mainstream. So the tools can analyze your picture and adjust themselves based on your image that you're working on in that very moment. All right. So simply you can select foreground, background, main person in the picture. We can remove the background with one click. All of this is available in Pixelmator Pro. None of this is available in Affinity Photo. So at a very good like simple fix, like I need to get rid of the backdrop and put some a new backdrop, make some kind of thumbnail for YouTube. That will be way faster in Pixelmator Pro. So that's the program I will select if I plan to work with some AI enhanced tools. How about tutorials? Which program is easier? Which program got more resources? I believe they are kind of similar. They are both rather modern and if you look at the interface. But for tutorials, I would say that Affinity Photo version 2 now got more tutorials than Pixelmator. Both are a bit like underdog programs. It's kind of alternative to Photoshop. And in this case, now, now we got more, more tutorials resources available for Affinity Photo. If you want to learn some complex stuff in Pixelmator, you need to dig around, you need to read the help files in the official like website and try to figure out stuff for yourself. There are some tutorials, but not that many. So in this regard, I think Affinity Photo is winning on like educational content. And the last one, last one is a reminder for you guys and for myself that it's not one on one. We are not trying to search for one killer app to replace Photoshop right now. Photoshop is this behemoth that was kind of merging and evolving for years. They've been buying different companies, taking some tools, adding to Photoshop, closing down different software, and they end up with this huge and ugly Photoshop at the very end. The <laughs> interface is crazy and non-intuitive and all of those tools. So it's not one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Photoshop is a huge machine. And even you purchase both Affinity Photo plus Pixelmator, like I did, it's still only half price of Photoshop. And in Photoshop, you need to pay per year. So you can use it only for a year and then you must renew your subscription. So in that regard, I think it's not like you must choose one. If you kind of need some tools from one and then some tools from another, it's justified to grab both. Professional software in the past cost like at least $300, $500. Nowadays, we can grab those programs for price of the video game. So that's great. So that's why I just simply got both. So you may think about it this way. It's not one versus one. It's more like you can have two or three cheaper programs to replace you one huge corporate program like this Photoshop that's been in development for years. All right. So let's summarize. It's not like you must pick one or another. Both programs are still cheaper than Photoshop. There are more tutorials for Affinity Photo. There are some AI enhanced tools in Pixelmator. So like if you very often need to select the backdrop, remove the backdrop, that would be way easier in Pixelmator Pro. Raw editing, it's a bit better in Pixelmator as well. For the multi-platform, go with Affinity Photo. Unfortunately, Pixelmator is only available for Mac. If you're doing some complex graphic design, mockups and stuff like that, embedded files, smart objects, you will need an Affinity Photo, I believe. If you're looking only at the price, you just want the cheaper app, Affinity Photo is a bit more expensive. Pixelmator is only 50 bucks, but keep in mind, both programs can be discounted so you can wait for those sales if this is really important for you if you're doing some a small like vector editing little icons or logos from time to time you can use both programs to do something like this as well if you got some old files like psd both can open them but keep in mind it will be not perfect and affinity photo is a bit better because there's a family of software so we got this graphic kind of vector editing tool, I think the designer, this publisher as well. So we've got like three programs that are rather similar. All of the shortcuts are similar, interfaces similar. So if you kind of learn Affinity Photo, it's then way easier to learn designer and publisher when you need them. All right, so here it is. A short video about 
Affinity Photo versus Pixamator Pro. Keep in mind, I don't want to like point one winning software here. The goal is to show you some ups and downs so you can make your own educated decision because it's you who actually know your needs. But you can also take my approach. As I mentioned, I don't think it's one on one with Photoshop. We cannot win one on one with Photoshop. All right. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next video.